Hi, friends. Welcome to the very first episode of Building Bible Bricks. I'm your host and builder, Pastor Tracy. I hope you love Lego bricks, and I hope you love our Lord Jesus Christ even more, because we're going to be talking both about the Bible and about building Bible scenes with Legos. I have been a Lego builder uh, most of my life. There was a time where I took a break and you know went to school and, and college and, and seminary and everything like that, but the Lord impressed upon me about 20 years ago to see what it would be like to build with Legos, Bible scenes. And I know there are other uh, Lego builder enthusiasts that have built uh, with Bible Legos and published their works. And I'd just like to share uh, some of mine. But more importantly, I'd like to share with you how you can make your own Bible scenes with Lego. Let's start off with a verse and a prayer. Today I'm reading from Genesis 1.1. In the beginning... God created the heavens and the earth. Isn't that amazing? Think about that for a minute. The same God who created the heavens and the earth created you and gives us the opportunity to be creative as well and make things for his glory. And that's what these videos are all about. Making things, building bricks with Legos to give glory to God and to share a ministry that you can share with your family and friends of uh, the Bible through Legos. I want to read one more verse with you. Okay, God took a six days, almost a week, to create everything, and he rested on the seventh day, the Sabbath. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 31, it says, Then God saw everything he had made, and indeed it was very good. So the evening and the morning were the sixth day. And then God, in chapter 2, verses 1 to 3, rested on the seventh day. It says, thus the heavens and the earth and all the hosts of them were finished. And on the seventh day, God ended his work, which he had done. And he rested on the seventh day from all his work, which he had done. Then God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because in it he rested from all the work which God had created and made. Wow. Dear Jesus, thank you for making us. Thank you for giving us the world that we live in. Thank you for the rest on the Sabbath. And thank you for the opportunity to share about Bible Legos today. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, all right, friends. Now, I'm going to take this nice Lego case and move it here, and I'm going to show you our first scene. Now, we're going to begin with how we can make Bible Legos. I thought we'd go to the Garden of Eden. And let's see if you can... Lift this up. Now, this is just a little mock. This is just a little little mock display. It's not a huge garden. There are other builders that have made elaborate gardens, but I just thought I'd take a, a few pieces and put them together and actually um, made this. Uh, sometimes I, I make works on my own. Sometimes I invite family or friends to give me requests, and I build with them. And this one I made uh, the ending of last year, Garden of Eden. I made this with uh, my mom and pop and drew some inspiration from some ideas and, and got some pieces together and, and, and crafted this. And uh, one thing, if you're, you're making little characters, um, I'll tell you what, what like, parts you can use. Like this, this is supposed to be a, a version of, of Lego Jesus for, for scene purposes or teaching purposes. And what I use is I got a, a, a Jedi, a Star Wars Lego Jedi body, and I... Uh, just, just got that. I think this is from an Obi-Wan uh, Kenobi. And then I got a different head with a beard, as you can see. And then a hair piece that, you know, I thought Jesus would probably look like. Or, or it's kind of indicative of a lot of the pictures that we see about Jesus. And so you put that all together. And then uh, this is my, my standard uh, Lego Jesus. And so we have him here. And we have our Garden of Eden. As you can see, you, know, you can just get a, a base uh, yellow body for Adam and whatever hair piece you like or, or smiling face you like. And then uh, you could do the same for Eve. And, of course, Adam was told to uh, raise crops from the ground, so we have a carrot for him. And Eve has the apple or the fruit from the tree. We don't know if it was an apple or what it was, but that's what they have. 
And you have quite a, a few animals here with this garden. Hope you can see this here. Um, pretty much Lego makes a lot of different animals with their sets. Uh, this elephant is a, a more of a vintage piece uh, that went with a Jungle Explorer set. It's kind of hard to get now. Um, a lot of these animals came with uh, Lego City sets or Lego Jungle Explorer sets. I think this eagle came with a, a Lego um, uh, mountain packing set. Uh, we have a gorilla here from the Lego minifigure set. And we have a tiger here. Uh, a lot of different animals. Um, here we have um, a lot of different plant life as well, like the little Lego flowers or you can get like the standard Lego trees for this. All you really need is a green base plate. If you don't have a green base plate, you can get some other base plate and put little green pieces on it to symbolize grass. Um, you would just have to get little Lego flowers. And this set gives an opportunity to really, really take out your, your um, artistic painting palette and, and utilize whatever colors you'd like to paint with the colored pieces of the Legos. I tried to just get as much diversity as possible with the different colors and um, situate them kind of like a painter to kind of balance out the reds here and here and the blues and the whites and, and the greens and browns. And, and uh, I think there's some pinks, different colors of pinks there. Um, there are some different fruits and different things like uh, there's some... Some fruit here, there's a little pineapple piece here, a little, little uh, pumpkin piece in the back, and a little dove is sitting on a, on a tomato, a tomato. And then, oh, there goes the serpent. Well, that's pretty good. We'll get the serpent out of the garden there. <laughs> um, I like to have uh, some of the different animals, uh, some of the predator-prey relationships together, the, uh, the frog on the crocodile, the, the mouse on the tiger, showing that you know all the species were at peace in the garden. And, it, and it's just a lot of fun. Um, a lot of these little smaller animals came as pack-ins with the Lego minifigures collection, uh, the blind bags that you get with the little Lego figures. And I like the ones with the animals, so you can take the animals out of there. I think uh, you know the skunk and the chimpanzee and the penguin and the serpent... And this little guy are all from that, as well as uh, maybe there are a couple other animals. Oh, there's a seagull in the back here that's from that, and the dove is from that as well. And so it, it's amazing how many different little animals uh, they produce for their different sets over the years. And in one of the future videos, when we come to the uh, Noah's Ark story, you'll see quite a few animals that, that I'm referring to. And so, um, you know, the garden could be any size that you like. You can get multiple base plates. Um, they don't all have to be green. They have other Lego base plates that are raised with uh, terrain or forest. There are lots of, of different Lego trees. You can even build trees out of different parts that you have. Um, I try to make it look uh, authentic. Well, I was going to say authentic, but I at least try to make it look like, uh, you know, they are trees and flowers. But you can get as creative as you want. If you don't have the tree pieces or the flower pieces, use your imagination and make just a, a wonderful garden scene that you would like. And then you can put, uh, you know, the Bible talks about Jesus walking in the cool of the garden, so you can kind of put him there with Adam and Eve. So we'll get a, a rotation here of the garden. And you see that camel up close. And here's the interior view of the garden. Oh, yeah, there's a little rabbit and, and chameleon that come in those little uh, Lego bag sets with characters. And another view. Oh, there goes the serpent again. Let's get him out of that garden. There we go. What we'll be doing also is, uh, through the course of these videos, we'll be taking a journey through God's Word with the different Bible stories. And so if this is a way that you'd like to share Bible stories with a friend, yeah, you can share with them the, the Lego scene and, and make Lego scenes and share in that way. And then you can share the real story or the rest of the story through God's Word in the account of Genesis chapter 1 and chapter 2. 
Friends, it's so great to spend a few moments with you today. God bless you, and keep building for our master builder, Jesus. Take care. Bye-bye.